Hello there, YouTube. I just wanted to show how I cut this at an angle. This is how far I'm cutting back this way. Here's the angle. This is just how I do it. Just see clamp the device, put a piece of metal across and cut a line. Then you can always take it out of here. Once you got your line cut, you can take it out of here and put it with this just to make your line to cut. We're going to flip it over and do the same thing. We're going exactly to the corner edge. And we're going exactly to the cut line right here. That way this will not be on there crooked. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing with the other side. Like I said, we're going exactly on the corner. We're right on this cut line. And then this is going to be on the rocket stove, so we may have to bevel this a little bit. This will be the back, because it will be leaning back. But you'll see that when you start fitting your stuff together. This quarter inch thick, it's thick stuff, so you may have to taper it a little bit. We're going to flip it over and do the same exact thing here. Then we can cut this with all this stuff out of our way. This is just to get a cut line started. Go about a sixteenth of an inch or so, about a third of the way through. Okay, this piece started out to be six inches. It's really right. Turns out to be four here. So I can't tell the exact angle. I just did it what I like what it looked like. So this turned out to be six inches. This is four inches here. It's four inch square tubing. I did make a cardboard template. You can tell me different options I had. This would be like 45 degrees. That's not steep enough. This is where we're going to feed the wood in this way. And we have to decide how big to make the hole inside of here. We may make the hole the same size, but we may put a piece of metal in here and kick it like this. So the wood sticks always go that way into the firebox. So this is the kind of design as we go. So this started out to be 12 inches, which now this side is 10. So we have about 4 inches back here. We have 6 inches here. We're trying to make it look halfway decent. Or like I said this is 18 and a half or whatever. This let me hit out and show you. This may be only eight inch thick. But it's a very hard steel. So it ought to burn for a long time. It's not no cheap tin. It's might not be that thick, but this is hard stuff. This is an old fire extinguisher. I'm sure if you bought them now, they'd be made out of cheap stuff. But what we're rolling here, then your wood's gonna come down. We're gonna have this back just a ways from this curve. We thought about trying to match that curve. We may do that. We have not decided yet. We may try to match this curve with this piece on the top. So when it goes up against here. It's all matched, which that does seem like a good idea to me. We're open to suggestions, so we won't be doing that till part three. This is not a really fast one here. We've had other things to do. This is only like the second day I've had to work on this, second full day. So this does seem like maybe not too bad of an idea. Don't go all the way. You know, go up. Don't go like that. Stay back here and put a little curve to it. So as it feeds, it feeds the same. This would feed air and feed sticks. Because we'll still have our little metal shelf halfway up or whatever in here to feed sticks here to start it. Then we're going to feed it up here. And then we're going to have a cap to put on here. We want to put wood in here and close it. We'll have a little door or cap. We want to close this so it just self-feeds from here and you can still feed it from here. So, you can throw a bunch of sticks in there and close it. So we want the air to always go this way. We don't want it to suck down this way. It's just the way I want it. I want it to draw. If it draws good this way, we want to just fill this full of wood, close the door on it. Sorry about the brightness here. I'm off in the shade and that's the sun out in there. You can see what it does. But, I'll take a couple pictures. Thanks for watching. Okay, we want to show our idea going down here in the box. 
This is a little over four inches. We're thinking about going back here about an inch, like this, and putting a piece of metal here so it floats. We'll get our light out of here. I think I gave three dollars and something for this Harbor Freight. It's a nice little work light. It's got a flashlight on this end. But back to what we're doing. And how good this will show us. Kind of go an inch. So it kicks the wood that way. So just make the hole about three inches. There, that may focus a little better. Piece of metal in there. This is a nice little light. You can film at night with this with your camera. Okay, we're going to call that good for the second part here. Thanks again for watching.